Good evening and welcome to the May Report. My name is Sonnet and I'm going to be reporting all of the report things to you today. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness. Hello, my name is Sonnet. I like to talk about books, crochet, and all things crafty. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a monthly report. Now, normally I do like monthly wrap ups and things and I can keep doing those for sure. But I thought this would be a fun way to have a kind of shorter, more personal video where I talk about more than just crochet and books. So I actually got this idea from one of my local bookstores. Every month they do a staff report and report actually stands for reading, eating, playing, obsessing, recommending and treating. So I'll be talking about those six things with you today. Any and all links are always list below. So let's go ahead and start with the R of report, which is reading. So what have I been reading in May? Well, a lot. I can do a monthly reading wrap up if you guys want to, but there is one book in particular that I want to talk about, and that is James by Percival Everett. Now I am currently reading this book. I am not complete with it yet, so I am reading it. And oh my goodness gracious, I think I'm only 20% of the way through this book and I'm already obsessed. So James is actually a retelling of the famous American novel by Mark Twain, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. In this novel, we actually follow the slave Jim as he experiences things that happened in Huckleberry Finn. This was actually a monthly pick for Aardvark Books, which is a monthly book club that I'm interested in joining. Sorry, book of the month, you might be on your way out. But when I saw this, I became super intrigued. I love retellings and especially retellings where you get a different perspective. Oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. I love it so much. If that sounds like something you are interested in, please definitely check out James by Percival Everett. So next up in our report is eating and boy oh boy do I love to eat. More specifically lately I've been eating a lot of bowls. So I recently purchased this book. This is from American Test Kitchen and I love the American Test Kitchen cookbooks. If you don't have one I highly recommend you find one that you might be interested in and check it out. They are awesome. And this is my newest one. And I'm obsessed because you get so many ideas, not only for a yummy bowl with recipes in the book, but it helps you so that you can create your own bowls and you can create your own super easy, super quick meals at home. Now, not all of them are super quick. Some of them do take a while, but what is really cool about this book is it gives you the tools that you need to then learn about maybe pairing things that you have already prepared in your fridge, maybe things in your pantry that's not gonna take too long to make and throwing them together for a delicious dinner. It is just, it's great, it's delicious, it's yummy, and now I'm really hungry. Now, next up in a report is playing. Now this could be games, it could be all kinds of things, but I'm gonna talk about music today. More specifically, music that I have refound that just speaks to my soul on every level. And that is the music by City and Color. Now, being a teenager in high school in the early 2000s, I quickly became familiar with Dallas Green. And then I discovered his solo project, which was City and Color. And that first album by City and Color was like the epitome of being 18 for me. I've listened to City and Color off and on throughout the years since then, but it hasn't been until recently that I started really listening to so much more and more regularly and it's such incredible music. Now, somebody with a more kind of rugged outer appearance like Dallas, you would think of something a little bit more rugged, right? Oh no, Dallas Green has without a doubt my favorite voice of any kind of contemporary artist that's recording right now. Mm. Oh my goodness. Do yourself a favor, go listen to a City and Color song and just be overwhelmed by the beauty in this man's voice. It is, I can't even describe it. It is gorgeous. The songs are so beautifully written. The lyrics are so meaningful and can touch 
everyone based off of what they're going through right now. It is just amazing. Check out City in Color. I cannot recommend them enough. I wish more people would shout from the rooftops about how amazing City in Color really is. Next up on our report is obsessing. And oh my goodness, I have been obsessing with miniature kits, more specifically the ones from Real Life. Now this is my newest acquisition, which is Kiki's Magic Emporium. It's part of the Mystic Archive series and Wow, this is so cute. Look at all of the adorable details, like the little witch's hat, all of the little scrolls and things, the little bins, so cute. Now this is the first one that I completed and I just recently completed this one this month. So this is Sam's study and I started this miniature last April. Yes, April of 2023. It took me over a year to actually complete it. Now there were a couple of months where I didn't work on it at all, but I finally finished it up and oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So once I finished that one, I immediately started the next one. Now I can't remember the name of this one. I'll be sure to link it down below, but this one took me maybe three hours to make not a whole year, so that's good. This one was super quick, but it's this cute little strawberry milk stand. Look at how adorable that is. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Let me kind of turn it around so you can see all of the cute little details and things. Just darling. So yeah, if I'm not crocheting, I'm probably working on a miniature and I love them. The only problem is I don't know where I'm gonna start storing them all. I don't really have a lot of shelf space because all of my shelves are taken over by books and crochet, but I might need to build some shelves so I can start displaying these because they're just too cute. Next up on our report is recommending. Now I do wanna recommend a crochet designer for you because I'm obsessed. I talked about this a little bit in my market vlog video, but I recently made a Bulbasaur dice bag and it is from a designer, new to me designer, and I believe a relatively new designer overall named Loop De Doops. Now, when I purchased this pattern, I didn't know anything about this designer and I thought, well, whatever, we're gonna make the pattern. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. When I opened up this pattern, I was blown away by the amount of detail and care that went into the construction of this pattern. I'm not talking about the actual crochet pattern. The crochet pattern itself, great, easy. It was an intermediate pattern, which I would definitely agree with, and it worked up great. I had no issues working up the pattern. What I mean by the details and care of the pattern. I mean the actual PDF you download. It was incredible. The PDF is formatted in a way that is so aesthetically pleasing. The colors are gorgeous. The amount of detail when it comes to explaining what you need, the stitches you're going to need to do, all of that stuff was in Incredible. I just wanted to shout this designer out. I think they're incredible and I wish them all the amount of success because I think the patterns are so great as well. And the last section of our monthly report is treating. So what have I been treating myself with? Well, it was a Mother's Day and every Mother's Day we do go up to the mountains and it's kind of one of those things where it's a little mountain town, lots of like tourist souvenir shops and things. And I buy kind of knickknacks here and there. I did stop at the bookstore that's up there and I got this adorable vanicula bag. Isn't it so cute? It is a little tote bag. On the back it says today vegetables, tomorrow the world. I kept the little tag on there because I thought the tag was too cute. It's a little library card. And in addition to the bag, I also got this adorable 40th anniversary edition of Banicula. Look at how sweet this is. So this is like a crushed velvet and oh my gosh, the pages. I love that like carrot color too cute. The end papers, just darling. Banicula was probably my favorite book growing up as a child. I love Banicula so much. And so I just had to have this one. So I did treat myself to this copy. But other than buying like books and things, I've been really treating myself with sunshine. I know it sounds silly, I know it sounds kind of dramatic, but I am so excited for the summertime. I love the summer. So I've been really focused on going out and going for walks every day and just sitting out in the backyard and soaking up the sun's rays, with sunscreen on of course, and just, yeah, really enjoying 
the outdoors. But that said, that was my monthly report for the month of May. So what did you think of this video? Is this something that you would like to see going forward or was one enough? Please let me know. But let me know what your monthly report is. What are you reading, eating, uh, playing, <laughs> obsessing, recommending, and treating yourself with. I would love to know, so be sure to leave those comments down below. But that's all I have to say about that. You are so wonderful. I hope you are having a wonderful beginning summer season. And yeah, I'll see you all a little later. Bye.